Are you? But um, tomorrow, tomorrow you're going to have a scene with uh, yeah. Sarah. Yeah. Do you know something about the relationship you're having? Or? No, no. I know something about that scene. I know that we were. It's okay. Yeah. You could start your own. Surely. Okay. Okay. I know that we've got. We we get to hold hands at one bit, and I'm assuming this is going to lead to a romance. Then again, it may not lead to romance. It could lead to me getting run over by a bus because I honestly don't know. You, you never know. Which is, again, great fun. I mean, I love it because I like not knowing. I like not having the script. I like being able to improvise whole scenes. Um, because if you're shit, you're shit. You know, and if you're good, you're good. You know, who cares? It's good. Th that means that you have to film the script actually in the continuity. Yes. Which, again, from an actor's point of view, I'm not saying it's easy, but it's easier than it is in other ways. Because you, you are literally, as, a, as the actor, you are genuinely going through the same journey as the character. Because obviously none of us know what's happening tomorrow, so he doesn't know what's happening tomorrow either. So it does make it... It's, some actors don't like it. Some actors, I think, find that really tough because they want to know where you're going to go to so that they can plan their character back the way and um, sort of decide. Most actors would live with a scene for about two months before you shoot it, because it's going to be this scene. It'll be the great scene. And by the time you come to doing those ones, you're usually crap. You're usually not very good. Whereas this way, if a good scene comes along, hell, you just go for it. And if a bad scene comes along, likewise, you know, you are absolutely none the wiser. So it's great. Can you tell us how you first met Ken Lodge? Yeah, met Ken... Oh, sorry. sorry, sorry. I met Ken for Riff Raff, uh, which was 1990, I think. And there was me, Bobby Carlyle, uh, who else? Uh, Gus Martin, a few others. Five of us got to the last five. And of the last five, I was first out. I was... Because I was too old. And at the time, I was 30. And I was fucking devastated because to be too told as an actor you're too old at 30 was a real killer. Um, but I really liked Ken. And then they offered me the part of the wee, the wee brother. A big brother. And I was offended and said, absolutely no way. And then they asked me again, would I reconsider? And I said, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Just to work with a great man. And I learned, I only did, I did three days, and I learned more off of him in three days than I'd learned off any other director, ever. So, after that, it was like, hey, he's my idol. Because you, I just learned so much as an actor and as a, you know, director. Because his way of working is just so simple and so basic. And that's, that's where his genius lies. It's not the big circus. I mean, you'll have seen that today. Most scenes... Films like the circus, they love all these fucking trucks and they love all the walkie-talkies and all that bollocks. Loach makes it ridiculously simple. Um, so the film doesn't draw attention to itself. Like, people don't know you're filming half the time, which is great. And that's the way he worked then and it's the way he works now. So, I mean, always, always around him you learn. You learn just so much. And, and it's always, always he pushing it towards make it simple, make it simple, make it simple. Which, as you know, is the hardest thing to do, you know, which is, 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 is great. And is it important for you that the film is set in Glasgow? Yeah, because it means I finish at six o'clock and I'm home by about five to seven. I don't mean that. I do. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't being facetious. Um, yeah, it is important uh, for that very reason, because I've got a seven week old baby. So it is important. Uh, politically, artistically, um, uh, no, it's not that important. Um, it could be shot in Edinburgh, wouldn't bother me. It could be shot in Inverness, even England, wouldn't bother me. Uh, I mean, obviously I'm glad that it's shot in Glasgow for domestic reasons. Artistically, no. I mean, I, I love what we do in our city, but I don't think any filmmaker should be tied to any particular city. I don't think of it as a particularly Glaswegian piece. I mean, it could be easily. It could be Paris, Dusseldorf, Warsaw. You know, it could be anywhere. Um, but he has found some great locations. He's very good at finding good locations. 
so he does tend to let the city the city speak in a way that most directors well not most but not such good directors aren't, aren't able to do mm. and we, we we came to because we were interesting everybody says that there is a new development in Scottish yeah. films and yeah. that people start to feel that Scottish films do exist and have mm -hmm. something in particular what is your feeling about this question yeah there is there's probably more the feeling than the actuality it's probably not it's not been realized yet but we are becoming increasingly more confident um, in, on just about every level politically socially culturally where the confidence is is, ha is is what's really the machines now starting to turn because we don't feel that we're quite so we don't feel that we're ruled in the way that we did by the southern english You know, so we're starting to feel more, I don't know, at home with ourselves. Um, and I think you're going to see over the next 10 years, there will be much more adventurous and better Scottish films. Because I, I think we're becoming less parochial now. We're, we're, we're starting to, 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 when I say parochial, I don't mean not filming in Scotland. I mean that the issues aren't necessarily inward looking. We're starting to look out more because after 20 odd years of the most vile Thatcherite state which was repressive um, reactionary uh, I think people suddenly felt well it can never be any worse than that so now if you get, give a, a Scots person any chance now to express themselves and they're really going to take it because we really it did feel that for 20 years you were just shackled you know Um, so it's it, in that respect, it's becoming much livelier. Um, now we haven't really got the money for it just yet, and I don't know. Some of it might depend on whether our films make money before we get any more money. But I think for the short term, I think it's more important that artistically they're good films, because then we maybe with guys like you, you know, Europeans, we might be able to get some more money off of them. I think more Scots films will go that direction, because we can't depend on London. Because they're already becoming very antagonistic towards us. Because it's it's like, you know, just give us more train spontons. Give us things that make us money. You know, it's got bugger all to do with your culture or how you see the world. It's really all they're interested in at the moment is give us give us another do, 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 do. you know, they want they want the money. You know. So I think if we make artistically good films just now and bypass southern England and go to, to, to France, to Germany Uh, Sweden, Denmark, the rest um, then I think you're going to see more joint productions mm. uh, also the Europeans aren't so concerned about the accent you know, because they dub everything anyway, or they subtitle it so it's great from our point of view um, whereas the Southern English are still obsessed with the Scottish accent just obsessed by it i.e. they feel they can't understand it you know, so they want the diluted kind of accent and with that dilution comes the diluted politics comes the diluted uh, emotions the diluted psyche you know it's they can't see past change button just now in the way they couldn't see past Gregory's girl 20 years ago you know it's like you've had your shot guys so just give us a few more of them and then bugger off you know I don't think they're that keen on a whole variety of experimental I mean loaches of the kind of social realist uh, I'd like to see I don't know Scotch horror films Scottish bloody musicals Scot I and mean, there's no reason why we can't uh, go to, to any genre we please 